Hello and welcome to a lab update. Um, sorry about the noise floor. Currently my storage system is sitting up here because it's misbehaving and I'm in the process of repairing it. So you're gonna have some fan noise. What you see here is a power line modem. This is just some power supply and uh, let's call it glue logic. Uh, and this is a BeagleBoard Linux computer. And the plan here is to communicate with the CCS charger um, to be able to quick charge off CCS. And this is just some rough experiment to establish some communication in the first place. What we see here is um, a 12 volt power supply that would plug into a cigarette lighter, as you can see here. And then here the twisted cable, I don't know if it has to be twisted, I just had a twisted one. That would connect to PE and CP of the charger. And currently this is my granny cable. And I have installed this high-tech switch here to start the charging process. I will just film the, the cable box for you. So if I press the switch, it initiates the charging. And when I release it, it goes to some charging finish state. So that means later on um, we might be driving to a CCS charger and see if, I, if we can establish any communication with the charger. I have, um, yes, credits, very important. Uh, this idea with the power line modem uh, and all that is not mine. It's um, mainly been driven, I think Catfish initiated it, and then a guy from Ingolstadt called Uhi, whatever his real name is, um, started writing some Python code that uh, does all the communication of CCS. So that's what I will be replicating. He's already uh, achieved um, quite a lot. He has had a, a, a bulb, incandescent bulb, a glow of the power pins of CCS with his setup. So I'm just replicating what he did. And the, my final goal would be to um, to build an adapter from CCS to Jodemo, so I can keep the Jodemo um, infras uh, Jodemo socket on my tool run and just use it on CCS within adapter. And this power line modem that we see here has been taken out of a commercial, you know, one of those uh, home communication bridges that you plug into your wall and then somewhere else you plug in another one and you have got Ethernet comms. Yeah, so I bought one of these used for 5 euros and it needs to be uh, loaded with the latest firmware and then some configuration files need to be downloaded from it, patched and um, upload it again. And the, the process is uh, documented quite well in both Uhi's GitHub repository, I will link to it down below, and also on the Open Inverter forum and soon also on the wiki. Okay, all packed up, ready to go. We have our logic supplied by the cigarette lighter here, our 12 volt outlet. Um, should I be able to get anything out of the uh, charger? I have a multimeter to show us the voltage and the only ohmic load I could find my soldering iron for burning some energy. Let's go and see. Okay, given the little preparation I was quite successful. So here we have a small township, these small 20 kilowatt chargers. And what's nice about it, it doesn't have such a hefty thick cable and we can easily bring the cable in here and yes pi plc it, it did get somewhere um and it got some xc even though i haven't started the charging session um but now i'm i'm missing an xc file so i need to uh, download open v2g and then return here 
Okay, we are talking to the charger now. Apparently now has come the time to start a charging session. Sorry, I'm very unprepared. This is exciting. So let's authenticate. I'm not really sure what Uhi's script is going to do now. Okay, this is making some sort of progress. Let's leave it alone. See what Uhi's script is doing. So setting, aha. Uh, trying to switch relays. Oh, I don't know if it's waiting for some sort of feedback from from its hardware because I haven't implemented all the hardware that Uhi's done. He has some high voltage measurement and the relay board and all that. I haven't done that. Um, well, okay. Uh, I think that's quite. I got further than I thought, so let's hold it right here. Okay, I just went over the log file and um, yeah, I found I just took too long to to blip my card against the charger and it gave up because authentication lasted too long. Also, I didn't accommodate for the fact that the charger has um, pin holes, not pins. So these are quite useless and uh, I'll have to think of something something better to make contact to the power pins. And some more hardware has arrived. A highly official CCS inlet, one phase which we don't care about. And um, so it's got a couple of temperature sensors, uh, one for each power pin, so four in total. Um, a huge ground cable which uh, comes out here and then the control pins end up the temperature sensors and control pins end up on this connector here I don't know I might cut it off because that uh, might be in the way of quick prototyping and then here we have our DC power coming out and uh, yes I have some malicious ideas how to make contact to that prior to obtaining the proper connector. And the whole assembly smells like it's been used on the countryside. Not very delicious. Now what we have here is um, two alloy 8mm pipes, an Anderson connector, and then here we have a 3D printed demo connector. And another Anderson connector, and you can see where this is going. The Anderson connector is just rated for 50 amps, so uh, yeah, we gotta be careful with the max power we're running here. I will connect the Anderson connector with a very short cable run of this 10 squared cable to this aluminum pipes and uh, isolate the whole thing. And then we see where we go next. And check it out, I even used a proper crimping tool. And some heat shrink is going to go above this and some people better be damn proud of me now. Good, here it is. We've got DC plus on the upper side, so it would slide in like so. Yeah, perfect. Perfect fit. Goody, some hardware progress here. I got a CCS socket and hooked it up to my uh, controller here. And also I dug out my 3D printed Chudemo um, plug so that would make the connection. Um, I've converted this to output an Anderson plug to match 
the two demo and as an input as well. So in theory I could just connect the two and uh, start charging to demo over CCS. Good, but we're not that far yet. Uh, before getting there I will I will light up a light bulb or hairdryer or something of the DC power of CCS. And yes, before that I've made a few changes to the setup here. Um, so now I can control the CP line via some line of code. It's gonna turn on now. Here we go. Now it's in charge mode. And also, I can't really film this, but if I'm silent, you might be able to hear it. Port relays, to demo port relays. Listen. On and off. All right, excuse the time of day, it's already getting dark. So I have uh, made a little adapter that goes from the Anderson plug to a sh plug to a Shuko plug and then to this distributor thing here. I've connected a light bulb to it somewhere back in this mess here and a hair dryer. Should we get that far? So let's plug in, see how it goes. Light. Got some light. Oh, lights off. More light. Oh, no light. Apparently, that was just pre charge. So, um, yeah, I'm afraid. Okay, now the entire script has frozen. Um, oh, okay, let's go. Going further, but I'd say <laughs> that's about the end of it. We're not really getting power out of that. But at least we got pre-charge. Okay, let's end the charge session. So I will wrap it up for now. Um, I definitely uh, got a bit further than I thought. I didn't think I would see any voltage from the charger. And yes, I will definitely follow up on this when I actually got the Chidemo adapter fully built up. And also you he is working on an ESP32 variant, so much uh, leaner hardware. And yeah, maybe to the time I got the demo cable, that will be finished as well. And I can switch straight to that. Good, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.